Triumph and resilience. Women who are also widows are sharing their stories through artwork. CBS 2 Sade Gray shows us how they're communicating their pain through photographs. Inside a flypaper gallery in Beverly, you'll find seven pictures of women who are spreading love from their trauma. They all have one thing in common. They're all widows, all under 40 years old. I thought it was time to tell my story. Maya Johnson's husband died in 2018. A year before that, their son died. It was just complications. I just always think it was a broken heart. L. Davis's husband died unexpectedly. But about three years ago, I just felt it in my heart and spirit that widow stories weren't told enough, specifically young black widow stories weren't told enough. And I wanted to do something about it. On April 16th, Davis opened the exhibit. That's a significant day for her. Her husband died on that day 10 years ago. Yes, it is traumatic in terms of the loss, but the stories and what has happened is that these pictures of women are of them smiling, their triumph, their resilience, and that is really what I want people to see. Stories like Tanisha Legault Washington's. Going through an experience like this where you lose, you lose a spouse is really a process of um, really finding yourself again and figuring yourself out again. Inside the gallery, you'll find a table with specific items that the widows have from their late husbands. Oh, it's our wedding date and, you know, the CD he made for me and our favorite restaurants. Davis is inviting the public to come and create floral designs for free where they can channel their emotions into creative uplifting designs. It, it does my soul well. Although the free floral design class and viewing hours is tonight, Lost loved ones last until May 18th, including this letter writing station where you can write a letter to your lost loved one or yourself. Reporting in Beverly, Sharday Gray, CBS 2 News.